have a big freshman year that he did at Houston. Did you kind of anticipate yourself having that same kind of season when you came in last year? Oh, no. Season me, I just take everybody got a different route. You know, everybody got a different road, different path. You know, um, obviously I wanted to be, uh, you know, just an All-American, just like every other big-time freshman that's coming into a new school. But, you know, that wasn't my case. But, you know, it's, it's not the end of the road. Hey, you, just how do you feel you picked up over the first four games? I did uh, pretty pretty decent, you know, um, not where I want to be, but you know, I'm getting, I see myself getting better and better as we progress through the season. In, on the stat sheets, you know, you may not be making the biggest impact, but when you you know go back and watch the film, it seems like you're doing a really good job of pushing the pocket. Just is it frustrating that you're not getting the sacks, or is you know do you see it enough that you're uh, you're having success? It'll come in time, you know. Um, of course, I want to get to the, get to the quarterback, get him on the ground. You know, um, that's that's the goal, ultimate goal, playing the tackle. But, you know, it has been my case right now. But I can see myself getting close, that much closer to each game. I know you've been dealing with the injury, but coming from last year to this year, how have you improved over the offseason? And then how big of a factor was Odell Haggins in it? Um, mental game, you know, just developing my mind mentally. You know, just getting better uh, in, in the film room, taking notes, different things like that. You know, just slowing the game down in my brain. And then for Coach Odell, we've seen him throughout camp when you were coming back. You see him work with you individually yeah, a little bit, maybe during special teams or whatever. So how helpful has he been throughout the process? Well, you know, he's just making my transition a lot better, you know, just helping me uh, get back, you know, working on my fundamentals more than anything, you know. Uh, d tackle is all about having your fundamentals and this is doing the small things right. It seems like some of the younger guys have been the more more physical guys you've seen out there, whether it's Jaden, Asante, even yourself. Uh, this, this younger crop of guys, have you taken a sort of ownership of, of, of trying to give this team a physical identity? Well, you know, we're just trying to come in and do whatever the coaches ask us, you know, from the top to bottom, from old to young, you know, we all just buy in. You know, some of the young guys, I'm more, more proud of them coming in and having that swag, you know, just come out and just play play hard. When you... When the guy like Asante does have a big hit, it seems like it's contagious. Does that does that carry through where everyone else wants to start? Oh, most definitely, most hit? definitely. Um, when Asante got that big hit, you know, it just triggered me. You know, um, some somebody like that. You know, we love we love Asante. You know, uh, Asante comes in, he plays real good, he works hard, doesn't say much, isn't that, isn't isn't a cocky guy. You know, and I just I love that about him. Really. He comes comes to work every day, ready to work. You feel like you're kind of rounded into form to, to where you want to be physically and with your production. Like you said, it's you're not quite where you want to be. You feel like it's getting closer. Oh yeah, I feel like I just got just got to keep going to the ground, man. Just coming in ready to work every day. Got to get better every day. You know, that's my mindset. You know, just can't be complacent. You know, with the little success I'm having, you know, I just want more. Can you get some more over here. Talk about a little bit. What was your, your rehab with your surgery and all that like? And what kind of stuff did you have to do to get back? Um, you know, it was a slow process. You know, just, just learn how to walk and stuff like that and jog. You know, developing all my muscles back. In both legs, you know, um, just you, you know, when you, you get injured, you tend to think this leg is all right, but you know, you gotta do both of them. So you know, um, just me, just, the mental state was more harder than anything. You know, staying positive, staying around my teammates, you know, keeping them encouraged, you know, just trying to be that guy. So much is based off, you know, lower body and driving off of the, that knee and that leg. I mean, did it take a while to learn how to trust that again, or was that something you had to do? No, nah, you just had to throw it to the back of your mind, you know. And, um, one thing I, I learned by myself, I just I just trust my, you know my work ethic, you know, and what I uh, do, put into my work, just like on the field, you know, if I did it in practice, uh, it'll be all right. So you know, if I did it in rehab, I'm all right now. All right, thanks, guys.